in reality we can't always conduct experiments and therefore we rely on causal comparative studies. Causal comparative studies are leveraging the natural variation that we see in our environments and their ex post facto variables, grouping variables that happen after the fact. And we use these uh, variations or these um, different groups to speculate about causal relationship. But it's always a speculation and not a true causation like uh, we, we do with experiments. So, for example... Well, another way to think about it is if you think of gender, um, gender would be an ex post factor. Where you're variable you're born it's not something an experimenter did to you. Um, another example is um, there's some research that sa says that people who have dogs live longer. So what they did in that case it was an ex post facto study they looked at life expectancy of people who had dogs already compared to people who didn't have dogs already and this is different from an experimental design where we would have a group of people and then we would randomly assign some people to having dogs and other people to not having dogs and then look at the life expectancy. That would be experimental.